Butler household, we celebrate a little differently. That's been happening a lot more lately, thanks to Educators Credit Union and their new mind and money tool. Now we can easily assign chores and the kids can pay for them right away. We can track the earning and spending and even reward them for making good grades all through our phones. So they're learning valuable financial lessons and I'm getting a clean house. Learn more about the Mind and Money tool at ecu.com. Well, guess what, Gary? We got us another uh, sponsor. We appreciate it. MilwaukeeWindowGuys.com. Um, very excited. Russ and the guys have put together a plan. Matter of fact, they're good friends with um, the guys up in Chicago on the score. Okay. They're good friends of those guys up there. So I was able to do some stuff, and I think me and Jimbo Covert, we're going to try. We're efforting. You told me that word. Mm-hmm. Radio. Efforting. You're efforting trying to get together with Jimbo to talk about when the Packers play the Bears. But Milwaukee window guys. So if you're in the Milwaukee area, if you're looking doing doing your windows and doors, as my mother-in-law is, mm-hmm. um, so she had Russ come up there and write her a good deal. And uh, she's so excited because she's always wanted to change the front door, but you know, Papa look cheap. Right. You know that. Yeah, yeah. Papa cut back yeah, on everything. Yeah, Papa, you know, frugal on him, you know Yeah, I mean? that's he, a good word. He ain't trying to let go of some of that no. money. He know? went to the ATM to yeah. pull out a 20. Pull out. And sometimes it may give you 40. Yeah. He put the 20 back in. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I said, Papa, That's all he needed was 20. Yeah, put the 40 in your pocket, no. man. Yeah. All I That'll throw off my balance. Right. Oh, my God. Because he, then he can put 120 in one pocket and 120 in the other pocket. He'll be balanced out. It, I wish I would have thought of that. Yeah. It's more smart. Yeah. But I would have done that. Ain't it. Why Please, he man. Papa don't think of it like that. No. So, guys, if you're looking to get any windows and doors, in the Milwaukee area, I have a phone number for you, but feel free to compare to anybody. They're the best personal service. They're locally made, guaranteed expert installation. And, of course, they got your guy as the spokesperson for it. But I want you to call this number, 414-279-9838. 414-279-9838. And, again, check out their reviews on the MilwaukeeWindowGuys.com and tell them, if you get some doors and windows that you want Leroy Butler to come to your house when they do the installation, we'll try to work that out for you. But Gary, uh, the BET Awards is something that I love, mm-hmm. and it was 50 years of hip hop. Yeah, yeah. Because you know I always had my top five yes. and all that. Yeah. And then something else Gary taught me: yeah. if you don't like my five, what's yours? What's yours? That's right. You don't have to like my five. That's your five. What's your five? Right. People don't understand that, though. People have a hard time with that, Mario. Don't yeah, they? Yeah, yeah it is. How, how long we've we been going through this? For a minute now. We're on 35 now. Yeah. Yeah. People have a top, uh, 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 a tough time with the top five, yeah, right? Yeah. Fluid. Yeah, But it's fluid. most of the people on your Facebook, though. Facebook and Twitter. With Twitter, yeah. They're different. Because <laughs> Gary, Facebook, with the blue check, you can follow him on that. Yeah. They said... Them a little bit more grown people. Twitter, man, they just let it fly. Now nah, they'll say, <laughs> "Well, I mean, they just call you a racial slur for no yeah, reason." Yeah, they uncensored. Like, they sir, uncensored. What does that got yeah. to do with yeah, what they we're talking about? They, they uncensored on Twitter because yeah, they no, just yeah. on. nah, nah. They let, but they know. featured uh, at the BET Awards featured uh, Buster Rhymes. Yeah, now, Buster Rhymes in my top five, not only because of his flow. Now I want you to play. Now he has. A song I really love with Chris Brown. Look at me now. That verse is three. Top three all time. His delivery. Just know that you never me. And I know that I could be a little cocky. You ain't never gonna stop me. Every time I come a nigga gotta set it, then I gotta go in and I gotta get it, then I gotta blow in and I gotta shut it. Buster Rhymes. I don't even know if he's underrated. He is underrated. But he should be. Come on, Gary. He's totally underrated. He should be one of the goats. Yes. He's, he's generational. And, and, but he's totally underrated as far as 
rappers are concerned. But he got his due, though. Yes, yes. He got his due. Shout out to BT yeah, Awards. He got his due. I appreciate that. Cause but totally, under, you're right. He's underrated. Because you think about Jay-Z, we think about rappers, you know, because I'm a big T.I. fan. But Busta Rhymes, and then Mario woke me up because I had to stay woke. <laughs> Leaders of the new school. Leaders of the new school. And so it was like two places he was coming from. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So whenever he did things with Missy, I loved it. Yeah. He got songs with Mariah That's Carey. Mm-hmm. And yeah. Busta Rhymes is just... He's and we would f- think about fast rappers. Yeah. Besides Twister and I. Twister is good. He's, I think he's probably. from Chicago, right? Yeah. Chicago. Twister was good. Yeah. I think between uh, uh, Eminem and Busta Rhymes, probably the fastest of the two. Right. Yeah, Eminem is on my top five. I love Eminem. Yeah. But Busta Rhymes, shout out to Busta Rhymes. Make yeah. sure you tag him. We give him Busta Rhymes his flowers. For sure. We love guys. Like, that's why I love the BET Awards. Because, you know me, I like this. I like women rappers. Mm-hmm. And I think Lotto, a uh, girl, she ran up on stage, took her shoes off. Is that Big Lotto? Yeah. Yeah. I, and uh, so I just I just enjoy the culture of hip-hop for 50 years. Because I'm 54. Yeah. Gary's birthday. Can I say your birthday? <laughs> no. Day? Yeah, it's coming but, up soon. My birthday is the 19th of July. Gary's so you go way back, soon. like Ron DMC. Yes. Like you doing all that. And another one made yeah. me almost got a tear to my eyes. Eric there. B and Rakeem. Yeah. yeah. You know about everybody right here. Melly Mel. Yeah. Started everything. Yeah. People, yeah. man, that yeah. music ain't never going nowhere. No. No, it ain't. It's Eric B and Rock him, man. Rock you put him, that, man. you yeah. put that on. Yeah. Eric B Rock yeah. Right. But when they talked about Uncle Luke, yeah. I've been telling y'all. Luke this was first. different. But I'm just saying, yeah, he was, and here's why he yeah. was different. If it wasn't for Uncle Luke, y'all couldn't say what y'all say. Yeah. Y'all couldn't put these videos on with, like, the one we love with Jamel Monet. Right. Yeah, right. Yeah. Right. And now. Yeah. You couldn't do that. Uh-huh. Luke sued yeah. to mm-hmm. the rights to do it. First Amendment. Yeah, he beat it. Shout out to Uncle Luke. I don't know why when I think about Uncle Luke, I think about Freak Nate, though. You're supposed to. They kinda, <laughs> no, why? They and and Daytona. Oh, Daytona, why? Yeah. Oh, no, why would I think about Uncle Luke? I yeah, think about Freak man. Nate, because. Freak Nick, hey man, and and Luke went together. Yeah, two live crew in that was like, right. Two they got crew. peanut butter and jelly, but right. <laughs> man, they got the album. They in that uh, Jeep Cherokee hanging out man, of it like this. Shoot, We're on the floor. I mean, yeah. Yeah, but now you, amazing, now you, now you, now you, this how you lead. Now you talking about Uncle Luke. generational, yes, music. Cause Luke got to what be I'm into. what 70? 70? 70? at least. Yeah, no, he may not be. We can look him. But yeah, he may be, Roy. Yeah, man. You got to get people their flowers. Because he was all in us. You have to. When that kind of music changed, that really set apart. What kind of music, Gary, in the 80s did y'all play in the locker room? Or did y'all have Walkmans? Everybody was kind of by themselves. You remember the Walkmans? Yeah, I remember Walkman. Just, you know. With the phone? <laughs> yeah. You weren't born. Then. Yeah. <laughs> With the Walkman. Walkman was fire. Walkman. Yeah. 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 But did y'all play music in the locker yeah, room? Yeah, well, yeah. Well, because we had the boom box. Right, the boom we box. We didn't have nothing over yeah. the sound system then. Yeah. That was the old locker room. I got one when LL Cool J yeah. did the radio. Yeah. I can't live without my radio. I yeah. said, I got to get me a boom box. Yeah. So y'all the let music box. just... Yeah, flow. That's nice. Yeah. That's, so, and we so, had different days right. on what, listen to what. Right. It wasn't all rap all the time. Yeah. It wasn't all R&B all the time. Or country. We had to get some country in there. Yeah, though. yeah. You know that. Yeah, Garth Brooks is fighting. Yeah, you know Rich Moran. I never heard it. Garth they put it, I said, oh, you know, I like yeah. that. And I saw some of their rappers yeah. were sampling some of the country yeah. music. Yeah, you know Rich Moran, yeah. Ron Hosserman, yeah. Lynn Dickey, yeah. Paul Kaufman. They yeah. get some country in there. Yeah, they can get whatever they want. Fine. Yeah, we good you know, with it. We good that's with why it. my music palette is so diverse. Yes. I can listen to anything. And I'm okay with it. Yeah. Jazz. Yes. David Sanborn. Okay. Know who David Sanborn is? No idea. Sanborn. George Benson. Know who George Benson Yeah, I know George Benson. Al Jarreau. You know Al Jarreau. Okay. Yeah. He was doing beatbox before. Jean-Luc Ponte. Who? Jean-Luc Laponte. 
Is he yeah. like a mafia member? Yeah, John Luke. Like sound like it. Sound like he was in a movie. Yeah. Sound straight out of Goodfellas. Exactly. Sound like he sailed around the world or something like that. Yeah. John Luke. He probably found yeah, America. Did, did John world, Luke? Nah, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know. <laughs> did John Luke find him? Found America. I don't know who what was it. Who found America on the ship? Was that John Luke? Then the indigenous people found America. No, some yeah. dude. No, was it Christopher yeah. Columbus? No, it was people way here before him. Okay. They say. Yeah. Yeah, you can say allegedly if you want to, but yeah. But yeah. that's the kind of stuff I like. Now <laughs> you now you talk before we now got here. I was yeah. I was I saw a little bow. Is it Lil Bow Wow or is it just Lil Bow Wow? He just Bow Wow now. But. Bow-wow. Was he the yeah. first one to be a Lil? No, no. I saw Lil no. Bow Wow. Yeah. Yeah, Lil Kim before that. And he was doing, they did an interview with him. And I I got that, if you guys got a chance to see it, I I got down with it. And he's right. There's, he started talking about generational music or rappers. Yes. And he was saying it's not what it used to be. He goes, you know what? I got three, four guys maybe generational right now. J. Cole, Kendrick Lamar, Jay-Z, obviously, Lil Wayne. He goes, now there's probably more. Yeah, because you can put Drake in there. Right, right. right. Drake. You can put 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 whoever you want. He said, say Drake. Yeah. 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 He goes, but right now, that's for him. He said all sound alike, too, or something. Yeah, he said that. Well, and they do from what they, the message and what they say. Yes. Yeah, what they rap about. He said, I like when the girls, uh, Cardi B, and, you know, and I like Lil' Kim, MC Light. MC what were the girls don't go chasing waterfalls? What the, what their name was? TLC. TLC. Yeah. yeah. Left Eye was a uh that was rest in peace, Andre Risen's wife. Yeah. yeah. So we got a chance to meet her. She was amazing. Um I was a big Aaliyah fan. She yeah, left too early. Aaliyah. Yeah. But what BET yeah. gives you is the music that everybody can get down to. Yeah. And it was special. And um, cause Ja Rule to me was singing and people Ooh. thought it wasn't good. Ja Rule was singing long before Drake. Yeah. Right. Well. Yeah. He was singing. Yeah, Ja Rule. And people said, Why is why is he singing? Cause Ja Rule to me. But felt like Ja Rule left things. too quick. He's still here. His music no, still standing I mean, up, like it, you it, said. It is, but like Well, that was because of the label it was he was short. on. Because the label he was on. Murder, murder. Was it was it Ja Rule and Ashante? Yeah. yeah. He's Shani. on Murder Inc. Yeah. He's on murder with Gotti and them. Yeah. But Gotti and them got out of that stuff. But the the government really went after them mm-hmm. at the height when they were one of the best labels. Then they had to spend all the money fighting the case. And they won the case. So that what Gary said, it put it to a halt because Ja yeah. Rule was like on top of on everything. On top of the world, bro. Yeah, he he like, had him, hits. him and Ashante. He had hits. Yeah. Was that Shantae? Yeah. Shantae. That's semantics. Shantae. Shantae. Was it Shantae? I believe. Shantae? I believe she went one Shantae. of my other. Shantae. Auntie? Allegedly, she went Allegedly. Nelly. I don't know. Who? She went Nelly Shantae, now? I, I Not now, she ain't. Word in the street. Because Nelly, Nelly is a 10, and yeah. Shantae is a 10. Yeah. Okay? So, if you do a song with a 10, people yeah. always think you date. Yeah. <laughs> Right? Yeah, well, of course. Because when Taylor Swift mm-hmm. wrote the song about John Mayer, yeah. it was her ex. Right. She sings that song. Right. And she asked her fans, don't right. be jumping in his mentions. Right. Say, that stuff is long, but it's a great song. Mm-hmm. But when you do music about exes, it stays there. Okay. So when when allegedly somebody texts me and say, right. Aaron Rodgers may be trying to date Taylor Swift, I say he better not, cause I know five fire songs that shit right when they break up. He may, not want, he may not want that smoke. He may not want that yeah, smoke. Aaron, Aaron, no, Aaron, Aaron smoke. let us find you somebody else. Yeah, he may not want because that smoke. Because that's one young lady that you can't just date. You gotta Wait, marry man. her. Did you? You gotta marry. We'll find him somebody. Did, was he the first one to bring her twelve or eight? Yeah, the game is that. Yeah, yeah, sure. yeah. It was a context of he, yeah. and dating her because she makes huh? songs. He ain't even poured the water yet. But it ain't got nothing to do with sports. This is oh, music. Because okay. somebody <laughs> told me she was dating. He was dating <laughs> Taylor Swift. It ain't, it ain't got nothing to do with sports. I mean, he was pretty, Allegedly. He was pretty hyped at the concert. He was. I just don't know what I dance mean, he was doing. He was. I don't know what he that was. was. I don't know what that was. 
He was doing this Naja Walker dance or whatever yeah. that stuff. But somebody doing. did tell me that, though. That, that they, he thought yeah, they, hey, they, 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 But I don't think that. Yeah, we'll you know. see. But we'll she'll put out eight or nine songs. Yeah, he don't want that. But speaking of Aaron, yeah, Aaron Jones, to me, is a platinum human being. Oh, yeah. And, Folks, and Gary, parents. What did you think when you saw what he said about Jordan Love? Well, I see all these all these guys have sent out messages right now. So, well, interviews. Everybody. I don't even know if they're mad. They just yeah. they just speaking from the heart. You're right. And you kind of feel like the guys in the locker room are with Jordan Love, right, to have some yes. success. And it felt like the guys in the locker room are ready to move on. Yes, like they're not stuck. Right. You know what I mean? So you're hearing a lot of good. Stuff coming out at locker room with players, not necessarily defending, but supporting Jordan Love, and that's what you yeah. want. Right? Who would you like to see? Because I know we've had three or four guys, um, 74, um, 28, 33, maybe some more defensive guys. Uh, Jair, 23, came up to him in a in a uh, he was in an interview. And Jair basically said, I have your back, but don't be trying me in practice. I love yeah, Jair. Yeah, well, you know, that was talking cheap and yeah. real, though. I just love And that real guy. at the same time. So, or do you think that nobody don't really need to say anything? But I, th I think it's nice to hear it. It is. Refreshing. It really is. Yeah. Refreshing. And if you're Jordan Love, it's nice to hear it. Yes. You, you just see it. Somewhere else, and it's printed, and you read it or see it, or someone, your cousin or your auntie, sent it to you. Just what they said about Put you. Put that down, auntie. Annie. Yeah. Because people may not know. Yeah. Yeah. Auntie. Is your auntie. Auntie. Yeah. yeah. Annie. Or your mama's sister. Yeah. I mean. Yeah. So we just say auntie. Auntie. Your cousin. Yeah. And you see it, and it, it, <laughs> yeah. I think it means a lot. Yeah. I think it goes a long way. I mean, you you like for other leaders, so-called leaders, in the locker room and to reach out and do all yeah. that. But nobody really personally has to say anything to me about it right? so I can read it. You just got to know, and it's supposed to be this, Roy. Everybody in that locker room, on the same page. That's why, you, that's yes. why you're there. And that's a big position. I mean, back when you that Lynn was the quarterback, were you friends with any of the backup quarterbacks? Mikowski, Magic. Yeah. Then Randy about, Wright was there for a minute. Blair Kill was he there? Blair Kill wasn't there. He wasn't there. We Anthony had Dillwig was there. No, man. No. no. So you were No, no, with, no, he was. I think he had just got drafted. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Dillwig went to uh did he go to BYU? I'm not no. Sure. Yeah. yeah, I think Dillwig was there. Okay, because I played it. Yeah. He so played a minute with deal with. Yeah, I think one year yeah. he was there. Yeah. But it, it, it can be complicated when it's a quarterback. The other position, you understand yeah. it. But you have a quarterback and you're taking over the reins because the, uh, and we've said this before, the Brett Favre fans were not very happy with 12 and it took them a while to get on board. I think for the most part Jordan Love has the coach's respect and he has the player's respect. So and then some guys want to lead by not saying a whole lot. Cause Reggie White was a big time leader. Mm -hmm. Brett wasn't. I was more vocal. Some guys just want to play. So I just think everything will be in good shape. So we're pretty excited about it. Um, so when I saw that, I wanted to. Ask, and then um, AJ Dillon was saying they're pretty tight. Yeah, they are. Uh, Cause they was up on a boat together up, up in. Uh, mm -hmm. Up, yeah. What's that? Where are they up, up north somewhere? What would you call that? Dora County. I Dora County. Yeah. 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 Him and Simone Biles' husband and all that. Jonathan Owens. Yeah, Jonathan yeah. Owens. I'm trying to reach out to her. I'm trying to get her to be a spokesperson. I mean, a speaker at my mental health summit. That'd so, be a good one to have. Yeah. So yeah. please, yeah. can you come? Because she has a great story yeah. if you don't know her story. Yeah. So that's good. He's hanging out with uh, some of the guys. So now the summer's off, Gary. They got about really. I'm going to say three weeks. Mm -hmm. And as coaches, you hope nobody gets in trouble and don't be betting on anything. Please don't do that. Because these guys getting caught betting is it's just, 
it's just disturbing for the league because mm-hmm. I remember, did you have that big old poster? Right when you walk in. And that poster, Mario, you wouldn't believe this big Right poster. when you walk in. Don't gamble, yeah. don't bring fire. Well, Leroy, I still anything. feel all yeah. this yeah. is hypocritical mm-hmm. by the NFL. Mm-hmm. You got a team right there in Vegas. You making money off of gambling. The NFL is. Mm-hmm. But you're going to tell the players, coaches, administrators, they can't gamble. I, I just, I don't get it. Well, Remember back a long time ago, Romo did that thing? And they, just, we just walked through the casino. Right. He didn't do anything. Well, he, I think he was doing something for fancy football or something <laughs> right, like but that. But, going, right. How can you do and that? They, and they yeah. got all up in arms about that. And then I Romo the sued got them and all that. Back. I think the union. You remember that? that? Yeah, that was. And now and then they go build a team in Vegas and they tell these dudes they can't gamble. I mean, I don't. That's crazy. I don't get it. Well, here's the thing that. Can I, I, don't. I play devil's advocate? Yeah, hip, hypocritical, man. It's their business and their rules. You got to follow them. Well, you, you do. And then, but it don't make sense. Well, here's how make it, it make sense. That's what I'm trying to say. I'm going to make all the money I can, but you can't. It's always been like that with every company. They get a chance to do things we can't do, or they'll say don't work for this company. But I can see your point, though. It does make a big deal. I mean, because fantasy football, uh, the Super Bowl. NFL thrives is, on fantasy football. Yeah, Super Bowl is in Vegas. Yeah. Huge. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. So. It's almost like it's almost we're like, doing things for business. Yes. But under the, the shield, don't do nothing to make us look bad. So if you know the rules, just don't do that. You can have a great life, but just don't do that. Because I'm going to tell you something. The reason why the PGA, to Gary's point, the PGA was on a high horse. Oh, we'll never take the money from live. Oh, we're going to sue them. We're going to treat the players. They, they just kind of throw them out. I mean, that was it. We're done with them. Now, oh, yeah, we'll merge. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, we'll let them. Cool. They took the all the money. That's to Gary's point. It's hypocritical. Yeah. So the commissioner money. of PG, how do you explain that? Because I haven't heard Tiger say anything yet. No. He Maybe if he did, I missed it. No, I haven't heard him say but anything yet. Rory and some of these other guys just say, you know what? I'm not going to take the $800 million. I'm going to stick with the PGA. I mean, you just kind of poke them in the eye. Big time. So you do it. Do as I say, not as I do. Then they went and took the money. And when it t- So the guys who took the money, Brooks Kepka and Phil Mickelson, these guys... Dustin Johnson got big numbers. Yes. And they were able to make money. Yes. Hey, man. And some of those low-level guys that never won tournaments yeah. was making big money. Yeah. They decided to come over. Yes. If you tell a guy... And now those lower-level guys that stayed with the PGA ain't left out. Yeah. They had an opportunity to make generational money yeah. for their family, and now they got nothing. It's a shame. Because in, in, in live, you didn't necessarily have to win a tournament to make money. Right. They paid you a fee to come over. Yep. And if Millions it, of dollars. And your little team may even win some money. You may right. not. Right. They got up ain't front no money. Cut. You no, like, they ain't no miscut. No, they ain't no miscut. Yeah. Now, but your team winning like a million. Yeah. You get ain't no miscut. That's money. Ain't no miscut. Yeah. They should have negotiated from day one to make it work could it, and get people back to golf. Mm-hmm. It is about golf. And golf is a sport that you play out the country and in the country. But I, to Gary's point, so I think the messaging, too, got to get better as far as the players gambling. See, a lot. if it was me, if it was me, uh, the Calvin Ridley's of the world, I would have brought them in. This has been quietly handled. They would have never got out suspending guys then they won't have questions like what me and Gary are saying. Mm-hmm. You got all these, you know, sites of betting giving you a lot of money. Well, you know, I'm a big Laker fan. You know, cryptocurrency.com, is, it used to be the staple center. Yeah. You give them $800 million, we'll put any name up there. But they didn't want to get into crypto and didn't understand it. Right. But if you write that big check, that's the way it works. Mm-hmm. But, you know, people can agree to disagree on a lot of these things. But I think uh, back to the point of having your guys available, when I saw Van Ness 
the first round pick because I think it's only two guys have not signed their contract while we do this. Yeah, I think it's Reed and Musgrave, I believe. Yes. Is it? Yep, yeah, mm-hmm. yep, you're exactly right, Gary. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yep. And I don't know what's the hold up there, but. Well, you slot it. Yeah, it's all. Yeah, basically. It ain't like where it used to be back nope. in the day. You all, you nope. all slotted. No. Nope. Now you may try to get 10, 15, 20,000 more, but it ain't gonna be that much more than the guy that's really already slotted in front of you. Yeah. So maybe those guys in front of Jalen Re- Jalen Reed and Musgrave are behind them. They're just trying to get slotted within that. Yeah. And I so think, it'll be happening soon. And I think too, the discussion is when can they get out of those uh that last deal that they have to sign, um, the avoidable years type stuff, the fifth year option or the fourth year option, the wording on that. Because what if you outplay your contract? When can you get an extension? That kind of stuff. But Gary's right. It's all slotted. So, and I think they'll be in before training camp. Oh, oh yes. But yeah, these guys got, understand got, you get yeah. these bonuses up front. Yeah. So you need to get into camp, yeah. especially Musgrave, because if you. You got all the headlines now of having a good camp. Mm-hmm. You tell your agent, hey, man, listen, let, I need to get in there. Right. Because remember, the agent worked for you. Right. But the agent's like, wait, because I'm trying to get you the best deal. So sometimes you get stuck in these rookie deals. You outplay them. Gouda comes and showed he will pay you. He'll pay you. If you, if you perform. Perform. Yeah. Packers are always done. This that. group will pay you yeah. if you perform. So there's nobody was like all pro for four straight years and then get what he was worth. Right. But you also have to understand when they do that, as Aaron Jones did and as I did and Batiara did, yeah. we may need to rework it down the mm-hmm. line. But we're going to get you a lot of money up front. Right. But we got to make sure this team is still good because when you have eight first-round draft picks on defense, mm-hmm. people expect this That's defense to be yeah. very good. Yeah, so it's a lot. I think he had a four-year, seventeen million dollar deal. So, how 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 is it good to have your first round pick signed, sealed, delivered before July? Well, especially him, because you want him in camp. So now let's put him in camp because of Rashad. Gary. Because of Rashad Gary, he's yeah. gonna have to play. Yeah, Musgrave is gonna Musgrave is gonna have to play. Yeah, Reed is gonna have to play. A lot of these guys, those three guys for sure, I feel like gonna play right away. Right. Because if you look at the position itself, the wide receivers. Who they got coming back? Tight ends. Who they got coming back? Right. So those guys are going are going to have a role uh, within um, this offense right away. So when you look at Van Ness, you're thinking that maybe Gary. Now you don't have to rush him back. We can figure out some packages for him. I right. still I still think I still think Quay Walker is going to do something different than this year, this year than he did last year. We'll see what. Uh, Joe Barry can come up with to start the season off because I'm not I'm not sure if Gary's gonna be ready that first game. Well, I tell you what, he looks amazing. Well, he's always cut up, Roy. Yeah, yeah. He's grown, grown man, man. grown <laughs> he man. Grown man. He's always cut up, man. Yeah, I, I just yeah. I believe he'll, he'll good be, shape. I believe he'll be back, but I, I like his answer with a Spectrum News one. Yeah, he said something to say, I'll when be I'm back ready. when I get back or something. Yeah, when I'm ready, when, when ready I get back or something. or something like that. Yeah. And everybody be back when like, I be back. Should we walk off now? Yeah, be back when I be back. He's such a big guy. Yeah. But if he stays in this Joe Barry system, system, they're going to put up numbers. Right. I still think they're going to maybe try to bring in a veteran safety. I wouldn't be uh, opposed to maybe trading for a safety out there to give you more depth. But, uh, of course, full disclosure and disclaimer, I was voted to be on the board of directors. Um, so I'm speaking for myself, not for the team. But you just want this team to be athletically sound. But uh, I will say this, Gary. Um, Educated Credit Union has started to change a lot of great things because they realize the summer is when people get summer jobs. Yeah. Kids get summer jobs. What are they going to do with all that money they're going to make for the next eight weeks? So instead of giving all that money to these sites, cash out for one, mm-hmm. get your bank account, educated credit union, and your parents or you and your friend or whoever, then you can put money in each other's account for free. And you don't need to give all the, the you know, the fee money to the apps. Mm-hmm. And they also teach you financial responsibility. They teach you about your credit score, a secure uh, credit card. Uh, if you want to pay your mom and dad back 
for money that you borrow from them. Maybe you're a young kid, like 14, 15, and you're doing chores around the house, which you're supposed to do, but your mom and dad may put $50 to $100 yeah, in your so. account yeah. for some gas yeah. money yeah. when you get your car. How about saving for your down payment and your mom and dad will help you structure it? Educated Credit Union is the only place doing that. So if you're in the southeastern Wisconsin area, go to edu.com. Tell them you want to get a loan, whatever you want to do, and say you want Leroy Butler to be at the closing. Matter of fact, I got four closings in July. People bought houses, and then I'm going to go to their house, and we're going to actually give them a framed Hall of Fame jersey. So that's the good thing about getting your mortgage done. I show up there, take pictures and things of that nature. So very excited. So shout out to Educated Credit Union. Um, Garrett, uh, if there's a game show, I thought about this the other day. If there's a game show out there, which game show would you want to be the host of that you say, I got this? Yeah, so you remember back when... Here we go. Uh, what's the past Russian name, Leroy, that, oh boy. that's on yeah. Good Morning America? You know, he, Straight Hand. Straight Hand. Yeah. And what's the name of the show he was on, the morning show Straight Hand was on? Uh, Good Morning America. No, no, no. Before that, with oh. the one girl. Uh, what's her name? Ripka. Kelly, is it Kelly Ripta? Oh. Ripta. Kelly Ripka. Ripper. Regis. Regis. It okay. was Regis yeah. and Kelly. Yeah. And yeah. Kelly okay. and Regis. Yeah. Regis oh. and Kelly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And remember Straight Hand went on that? Yeah. So wasn't it Mike and Kelly? I don't yeah, know. Yeah, yeah. Remember they went on that? Like, yeah. yeah. And then... She got real upset. I don't know if y'all remember this. Yeah. She got real upset because Straight Hand left, went to Good Morning America. Oh. She didn't know nothing about it. Oh. So she took off a whole month yeah. upset because yeah. they backdoored her. But he, well, you know, yeah. Straight Hand took. That's a network job. He took another job because he, yeah, he stepped up. I mean, yes. Right? Yeah, they yeah. get paid big and, and, money. And it's not like he left Kelly holding the bag. I mean, I get that's her show. She started, she was with Regis yeah. Film and all that. Yeah. She's got yeah. history. And then straight hand didn't tell her right. that he was leaving. Just left. And then next thing you know, she see him on Good Morning America. A lot of stuff they want to keep quiet. I get it. Yeah. So she was upset. So after that, yeah. she get Ryan Seacrest, mm -hmm. which I thought was a good feeling. Okay. Ryan I like, I like platinum. God. He platinum. She, she filled in great. Yep. Now, about two months ago, three months ago, somewhere in there, mm -hmm. Seacrest announced that he leaving the morning oh show. Oh my goodness! Oh, so he okay? He gone. He got like thirty five jobs. Anyway, he got a radio show. Anyway, him and Nick Cannon. Yeah, yeah him, him and, and Nick, Nick Cannon, Cannon, man. Them guys work. Him and Nick Cannon, Crest, man. <laughs> yeah. See, Chris, come sponsor us, man. Yeah. Put us on one of these platforms, gone. man. So everybody wondering why? Why he? Leave? That's a good job. So we gonna take. So they just out. announced yesterday. On Will so of Fortune. That Is now, because you know he knew Pat it. Pat Sajak? Pat Sajak stepping down. He about 7, 75. Yeah. Pat, Pat Sajak stepping down, wow. and now Ryan Seacrest is going to be the guy. That's a, I bet you get close to $100 million. Huh? I bet that deal going to be worth $100 million. I think he get about $25 million a year. Ooh. We'll take like, $25,000. About $20, 25000000 million a year. Just to be like, yeah. Yeah. And then now. Wow. What letter you want? No. Nah, yeah, I know, right? Here's, here's <laughs> a kicker. Bow. Leroy ain't gonna lie to you. Here's a kicker to that. It's a kicker? Vanna. Vanna White. Uh -oh. Just came out, Leroy. Yeah. She ain't got no raise in over 18 years. I don't believe years. it. I don't believe it. Look it up. What? That's a shame. She ain't got a raise in 18 That's years. That's a shame. That's crazy. And they got Jamil been talking about it. She, yeah, yeah. Uh, oh, she all up on in arms right, on this. Man. She ain't got a raise in 18 years. Who was her age? She's that, right. That's what they talking about. She was five age a long time ago. She's making three million dollars a year, which you know, I mean, I take the three million, but she's making three million dollars a year. Pat Sajak was making like 18. He probably making more than that. That's that, what, that, what they say, allegedly. Okay, yeah, yeah, allegedly. Somewhere in there, she was Are making three, kidding? but she That's ain't got no. Yeah, she ain't got is. no raise in over 18 years since she been there. She been taking that three million dollars. So now she's in negotiations, which she should be, get a new agent and to get more money. But she now was. she's at the end of her career. Yeah. How she just sat there and just took that? I know Leroy yeah. wouldn't have done that. My boy here, man, he taught me a lot. Come, You you can't treat people like that. Well, that's yeah. too true. Even if yeah. women should always get, if they're doing the same job, they should get the same as the men. Right. 
Penn State Jack, he's the guy. I get right. it. Fine. He should get. He should be yeah. more. good. But she should be right up on him. Right. Yeah. And they move up together. She should have been at least making Smooth $10 million. Dollars, man. Yes. Ain't winning. I ain't going to say all that. You don't but think that's way, why guys been watching that show? Because of Vanna. Vanna. Yeah. You, you say Vanna White. You why do you think we right? watch Price is Right, cuz? Man. Yeah. Price is Right was... We Bob, like Bob Barker. Parker, Bob Barker. Bob Barker. Barker. Man, that's we want to see the, the girls over there with the wash machine. Yeah. Doing the wash machine. <laughs> yeah. We know what it yeah. costs, too, because we ain't got now. Now. <laughs> One thirty nine, the but penny one on one. To me, <laughs> okay, Family Feud because Richard so Dawson, yeah. Richard Dawson was the truth. He used to yeah. kiss with Tom him, man. Kiss him all the time with the lollipop. Remember yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm like, man, Tom kiss him, man. And, the, and their husbands are standing there, standing there. Yeah. kissing. They wanted him too. They, yeah, they wanted him too. Richard Dawson, Tom kiss him. Cause. Yeah, he already knew what time it was when yes, he came sir. out. He was like, yeah, it is. So, I would love to. I would be. A, I'm a Family Feud guy. Love yeah. Family Feud. What's that boy doing Family Feud now? What's his name? Steve Harvey. Steve Harvey. Man, Harvey got Steve Harvey. Yeah. He, Steve, Steve I'm going to tell you why Steve Harvey is one of my man. guys. He's killing Family Feud. I look right up now. to him and Shaq. He got two jobs that I want. Because I want to be a judge on a show. That'd be awesome. And I want to do Family Feud. He got a judge show now. Yeah. It's so funny. He's making all the money, Kyle. Oh, my. I love this guy, man. Love him. Did you see him? Uh, love him. Did you see him? Love on him. With, did you see uh, Steve on with Shannon Sharp on his thing? Yes. Yeah, Shay Shay. So, so Shannon, Shannon asked him Shannon, Shannon, when he going to come back and do Club stand-up. Shay, Shay. Yeah. He said, uh, I can't. No, because I can't nah. do stand-up no more. He goes, they take all my money. He goes, I lose all my jobs. Because he may say something. Because I may say something. <laughs> <laughs> He go, all my jobs right now I got pay me good money. Yes. I can't jeopardize that. Now, he goes, when I know I'm done, mm -hmm. then I'll make, come back and do stand-up. He goes, but right now, he goes, man, I, I can't be going doing stand-up and saying what I want to say. He goes, when I do stand-up, I want to say what I want to say. Right. And how I want to say it. But right now, I can't do that with the jobs that I have right now. He yeah. goes, I'm doing okay. I would love to be like, see, my goal is Judge Mathis is the goat to me. Judge Big Mathis. Judge Mathis guy. I want to be a judge like that. Judge well, Mathis for real, bro. He, he, yeah, yeah, he, went he keeps it 100. Yeah, yeah, he did. Yeah, I he love did. it. He went probably one of the most brilliant people. What's the lady name seen? that's the judge? Judge Judy. Judge Judy, yeah. She yeah, the she, one. Bunch of money. Platinum. Yeah, she got like her own little network. There. It's she a lot of judges, a lot of African-American women that are judges. I can't think of their names right now, but they're fire. I mean that I would love to do a judge, like people like a ex come sue exes, mm -hmm. you know, or <laughs> boyfriend. See, he wants sue all, messy. Just he boyfriend messy. sue the girlfriend, he the girlfriend the sue the boyfriend. What he say? What he he threw my yeah. phone. Like mess. JT threw a phone at uh, my boy. Oh, Lil Uzi. Yeah, JT, calm. Don't don't do that. Yeah, that was, don't mess. be throwing your phone like this. That city girl, the, shout out to City front girl. Row too. But I want to be a judge. You and I want to do Family Feud. What you want to do? Well, if I really... Family Feud is the top. I mean, that's... That would be good. Because you grew up... Yeah. You talked about Richard Dawson. You grew up really watching that. Um, Jeopardy I ain't really get into because I really wasn't nah, that smart to be doing Jeopardy. all that yeah, Jeopardy stuff. Really. Really. It's too boring. Yeah. And, and then they had the one straight handed doing it now with where you guess... But you got to guess something. I forget the name of that one. That that one would be pretty good. Pretty cool. You want to do something where you guys to do a monologue? The, that $1,000 pyramid, I think that's what it was. Wasn't it? Oh, yeah, when two people sat down. When two people, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. The and then there's around. another one where they were all had these blocks, the squares. Hollywood, Hollywood squares. Hollywood squares. Hollywood, Hollywood, Hollywood squares. Square. Square. Yeah. Back in the day. Yeah. They still do a little yeah. offshoot of that right now. Yeah, you can host that yeah. and throw yeah. it to the guy. Yeah. To the and, and Lee, what about the dating game? Remember they had you behind the panel over yeah. there? Connection. Connection. They, yeah, they, yeah, any kind of dating game. Yeah, the, the, the panel, they really had you behind the panel. Yeah. And then what was yeah. the one where they had the, 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 the cards on your lap and you had to guess and you throw the card up? And that's when married people were together. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, I remember. When you had to say what your wife favorite, yeah. whatever yeah, it was. Yeah, whatever. You had the card. Yeah, hosting something like that yeah. would be fun. That would be yeah. fun. That like would that. be fun. I'd do something like that. Yes, yes. Yeah. So he's messy too. Yeah. yeah. He talking about. He doesn't talk about. Yeah, he talking about. But I tell you what I would, that would do, be good. Right? I'd take them all out to eat 
over yeah. at the Union Where House you restaurant take in Genesee Depot. Yeah. Union House has been around since 1861 mm-hmm. and has always been one of the top fine dining yeah. restaurants, restaurants in southeastern Wisconsin. Union House is known for its world-class cuisine, cuisine, world-class service, and extensive list of scotches, bourbon, wine, and it's award-winning Love old water, fashion. Well, they got plenty of that. They got it backed up. We need for you guys to come drink some. <laughs> guys, I have down the Union House. So is Leroy Butler. And if you've not been there, I strongly name? I strongly recommend that you go check them out soon. Union House and Genesee Depot. Can we wrap this up, what? this little part up, what? about sharing food again? What do you mean? Because I'm developing I got something. everybody been hitting me up. Everybody share food but you. And when you say Genesis. everybody, you sound like our other friends. Yeah, I know everybody. everybody. Just say everybody. everybody, everybody, everybody two people. Everybody <laughs> tweet me about two sharing people. food. It could be really one guy. Yeah. Like taking. We even got de- we even got Dennis Cross the other day. See, he's, he's confused. He shared the dessert. He's confused. Shared dessert. Okay. Yeah, shared dessert. Yeah. Then see if I go. Everybody's dude, doing it. Everybody's yeah. sharing food. This yeah, guy two here. people. Everybody. If I take my wife, Paul. Uh, Paul said. Paul said, yeah. Paul said he again, shared one guy. Yeah, Dennis salad. My guy here. Mario. You don't know his name? Mario said he did. I think most share. people that go out to I eat. I said share the food. Oh, when it comes to the steak, it might be different. The yeah, steak going to be different. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm going to share it. I'll they share give you two menus. Bit. You get one, I get one. Yeah, yeah. Same food on it, though. And I eat everything on my plate. I don't take to go food home. You got to take to go food. Yeah, you got to yeah. take to go food. What? You eat all that. That's why y'all got gout. That's why y'all, that's y'all backs hurt. That's why y'all eating old food. Why y'all got? But it's all good though. We can agree. Did you ever go? You ever go to the old country buffet? I've been there. Oh, yeah. you, you ever do it? Yeah. That? Okay. Just what you know about that? I'm just wondering. I think it was like six dollars yeah, back then. Yeah. Now I think buffet now. What? Well, shout out to Golden Corral. I think go, like twenty one dollars. Twenty one dollars. <laughs> what you shot Golden Corral for? Because we go there. I think it's the like if we're getting going. Up, I remember it used to be like eight dollars. Nice. Now it's like twenty. Thirty-seven fifty. And you go person. with Papa though. <laughs> Papa got the senior Papa discount. Papa got a card. He got a senior discount. AARP. <laughs> and you stand behind your grand, between your grandmother and your granddad, and they you just walk in with them. You get the two for one. They won't even see you. Stand behind grandma, and Uh-oh. behind grandma, in front of grandpa, and you walk in like y'all marching. They won't. Oh, go ahead. Little man good. He ain't gonna eat Little that man much. good. He, he ain't gonna eat that much. Little man And my grandma good. said, keep walking, fool. Keep walking. Little man good. And I was like, what am I doing? We get you in for free. So, but shout out to grandparents. They know how to get that curve, okay? Well, yeah. But they done been there, good. done that, did yeah. that. Yeah. <laughs> but we yeah. can get them there, right? You know we can drive them there, yes. right? We, we need can. an extra plate. Yeah. What for us? Somebody yeah. came in with their yeah. grandparents. Yeah. Well, they, Mr. Butler. Yeah. They can get there, but... But it's all good. Car over at Lake Chevy, Lake Ford. Yes. Yeah. We can give them all the transportation. He on South 27th Street. Mm-hmm. Uh, Ford dealership, Chevy dealership, right across the street from each other. I heard the service New is good. Or used vehicles. Yeah. Service after the sale yeah. is absolutely impeccable. And I think that's why you should go there. You can buy a car from anybody. I mean, that's that's we know that. But I think it's after the sale. To me, that's what's important. People forget about that. Go check my good friends out today at Lake Chevy, Lake Ford on South 27th Street. Actually, they're right across the street from each other. One more other thing Go ahead. about going to the store every day. Do, do you really actually go shopping? Every day. He just posted another picture of him you know, hanging out. He already knows oh, the aisles by heart. He he know the, I, I see it. What did he do? He put the aisles by Andrew. Sierra, uh, you know, Sierra's the, the tall one. Yeah. She almost taller than me now. She's almost yeah. What'd you do? We was in that shopping. And Pick I, and say, right? I said, I like going every day because I meet new people. Oh, my God. And meet the fans. He, 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 he knows the staff and by Gary, name. My headphones were he, in there. And the guy said, I didn't know Pick and Say is so headphones. You got the headphones at the grocery store? I just got <laughs> headphones on. You know, like I was his headphones <laughs> and um, I put them down to take a picture. What you got headphones I, on for? Because I had them. I had them on my. You walked in. They were around my neck. Okay, you, you know, walk, like Sometimes you yeah. forget. Were you spinning like DJ What What or was no? It like, <laughs> I had them on my, my yeah, headphones to my phone. I put them around my neck. We had to run into the store to get a few things, so I just put them in the buggy. But you know, when you take a picture, people look. You tweeted you. this. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I was yeah, in the store. Yeah, I missed it. yeah. I but I go to the store all the time and get yeah. what I'm gonna eat that night and cook it. 
And what you gonna cook tonight? I shit. My wife normally sends me what she wants. Okay. And she's on some special diet now. Yeah. And okay. I gotta get all this stuff. I'm supposed to get it later on this evening. Okay. But these diets don't last long. Yeah. You know, they don't do it. No. They don't last. No. As soon as you. But drive, you just get her what she wants. Yeah, of course. Yeah, I ain't yeah. Let but her go ahead. Shout out to Pick and Save because yeah. we. Pick and save in Metro Market. With the headphones on. With I would be in random pick and save stores. Did, did he have a headphone yeah. running neck or no? No, no. I had him. I like put it in the buggy. In the oh, so Joker. Did you say buggy or cart? Buggy. So Joker had to wind it out to see the headphones yeah, in. Yeah, Take yeah. it. They're in the yeah, cart. but you can possibly see That's it. That's what it worked. You know that. So they, you have a I mean, it's different. Like Beats has headphones. Did someone call you out on the headphones? A couple people. One of them was my cousin. Yeah. And then somebody tweeted it. It said, I didn't know pick. It was funny. I well, because you listen to the commercials, man. Yes. Pick and so, save commercials. Um, but I'll be at um, Great Lakes Dragaway. Uh oh. Nice. This um, July 1st, I'll be there. Um, I got Roy week, Henning. And this Saturday. Yeah. Because uh, this year, um, 4th of July is on a Tuesday. Yeah. So I'll be there at Great Lakes Dragaway from 2 to 5. And um, my football camp now, we have a sponsor. Uh, go to nlonline.org, 25 players and 25 cheerleaders is mm-hmm. free, mm-hmm. okay, because we're recording this on the 28th. So the camp is July 22nd. So you got like three or four days. It's absolutely free. The first 50 kids, mm-hmm. 25 football players, 25 cheerleaders is free. So mm-hmm. just go to nlonline.org. Fill it out, register. If you're in the Brown Deer, Milwaukee area in mm-hmm. uh, Wisconsin, so excited about that. Um, this is a true story. This is not a read or anything, but a good friend of mine is going to see Dean today. Okay, uh-huh. and he's going to propose uh, on the fifteenth. Yeah. So the Jury Center is a big deal. He sh- I said, just wait on do it on Gary's uh, my birthday. That would remind you of your anniversary. Every year. That's <laughs> true. Right? Yeah. You didn't spill the beans just now, did you? No, he know I okay. he know I was because oh, he know okay. Gary's gonna talk about the jury center. <laughs> he said, Tell Gary I'm going over there today. I said, Welcome to manhood. Get this good. guy, man. One day he'll say something, Gary. One day he's in the mall. One day he's at some around the corner trying to buy a diamond. One day he's probably at the bottom of the, trying to buy it from the little mermaid or something. Yeah, yeah. I'm like, dude, just go to one place. Right. The jury center. Back at the barbershop again. I, yeah, exactly. He's one of those guys. Yeah. He's one of those guys. Yeah. Go get his wife a Cubans at coin for $29. She don't know the difference. She take it in and yeah. try oh, to get dude, it. Dude, it's worth $29,000, yeah. yeah. but I'm going to get you for $29,000. She, you try to go get it insured. She going to take it. She going to be smart. She going to go get insured. <laughs> she take it to the jury center. They look at it. They going to put that little eye in, that little. Dean put the eye on it because you know it way around the neck. Yeah. No Dean Wade around his neck. He put that thing on. Yeah. Like, this is, He'll uh, let you know if it's real or not. Yeah. 100%, 100% glass. Yeah, 100%. 100% glass. Don't want to break right your heart like that. He's, so where should he, everybody else should go? I know uh, he's going there. You know that. I'm excited for him. Yeah. Go check my good friends out today at the Jury Center. Go to shoptjc.com, shoptjc.com. Right there, their website, and get you about everything that you want to buy at all three of their locations. Roy and I just talked about it. Dean Murray, yeah. he's the owner. Uh, they'll, they're going to give you the best possible deal on any piece of jewelry that they have in the store. And like Leroy said, they're always willing to work within the budget. Go check them out today, the Jury Center. We're getting a lot of smoke, and not argument, smoke? but smoke over the Milwaukee area. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's smoke. And we're getting smoke in the Racine area. So mm-hmm. I have family members that have asthma real bad, mm-hmm. and they're going through it. Right. Yeah, they actually... They said Waukesha County, which is where yeah, I live, yeah. uh, is the worst. Oh. There is. They're like, they're like in a purple or some oh, sort of purple yeah, area. Yeah, the phone will show you, yeah. Yeah, the, the phone will show you how bad the areas are. Mm-hmm. Don't even come outside. Yeah. They don't close, like, the pools and all that kind of mess. I, you know, it's kind of difficult to even see the dogs outside right now. Although one of my dogs got away yesterday. Uh, how? I you know. Well, this is Maddie, brought, yeah. this segment is brought to you by yeah. uh, statewide fencing. Yeah. Steve Rensdick. Gary yeah. gonna tell you how you retrieve your dog. Yeah, yeah. 
Because every now and then, every now and then they get where other dogs are. But how did you get them back? Yeah, how did you get them back? Well, the lady that lived next door to me called. Wait, so this wasn't at the dog park? No. This in the neighborhood? Yeah, neighborhood. Oh, my anxiety would have went crazy. Neighborhood. Oh, yeah. I did. Lady yeah. next door said, uh, "Oh, man. I see one of your dogs walking down the street." Oh. I go, "What? I'm on the phone. What? Just Where did he go?" That. I go outside, see one still sitting in the yard. I don't mm-hmm. see the other one for sure. And they normally stick together. They stay together. Gone. I said, "Well, which way did he go?" She goes, "I don't know. She he went down towards the road." I did my anxiety went way up. Oh my! God. Went oh, down, down, down by the road. Because I think the worst. So I'm out there calling the dog, can't find the dog, blah, 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 blah. And then all of a sudden, I hear her screaming, we have her! So I go back up in the yard, and my next-door neighbor said, well, he was, she was in our garage laying down. What? Fine. Oh, the neighbor uh, has air conditioning, and you don't. I think so, Leroy. She was yeah. in the shade. Makes yeah. Smart yeah. dog. Yeah. Makes smart, smart dog. dog. Yeah. yeah, smart dog. He's like, yeah. I'm out. I'm out. Mm-hmm. Sweating over here. Feeling yeah. good over here. Feeling in, in, in the garage, here. laying down. Yeah. Now, do she normally visit Bring that on. neighbor? So that know. neighbor's got two dogs, and sometimes yeah, she, she goes play. over there. Right. Yeah. She, she, got, she got her sister. Play with your sister. Yeah, but that's boring. Play with your sister. <laughs> it's too hot. He was like, yeah, I'm yeah. out. Play with your sister. So yeah. they went and got her. Yeah. No, she was just in the garage. The lady came outside. Oh, she outside. came back from the street. Yeah, yeah. So the lady walked out. She walked out in the, in the garage. Now the dog was laying there in oh, the garage. Okay, okay. So then she brought her on back over to the house. Yeah, I don't see how you got through that. I mean, yeah, yeah, it was pretty nerve wracking. Yeah. I, Blood pressure, 145. I got a therapy session tomorrow. I had a, I had, a, I had all the, I had about. all the tags on and all that stuff. And she, they both of them got chips inside of them. Nice. People still, yeah, steal dogs though. Yeah, they do. That's yeah. real. They do. Well, I'm glad you got yeah, it back. We got I, it back. Yeah. yeah, even telling that story, my heart rate going Just a up. Bit. Cause yeah. if I, I'm a helicopter dad with yeah. pets and my kids. Because you had biscuit there for a minute. Yes. Yeah. Yes, man. If I don't see biscuit. I freak I, I yeah. always think the worst. That's why therapy is good for you, yeah. just to calm you down yeah. so you can assess whatever, if it's a relationship, dog, a kid, or something, an argument. The therapist kind of help you calm. Uh, you you trying to say a word now? Where is that? Where is he trying to say a word? It's coming. It's well, coming. I, mean, I can't. I can't even think of what you're saying this time. It's a start with a C. Carmen, like, uh, yeah, that too. Com- Come on with it. What the word I'm trying to say? I ain't know what you're trying to say, Car- girl. Why are you? What's wrong with you, Mario? <laughs> I'm just killing I'm me. Car- it out. Car something. Yeah, uh, him too. Carmen lies. Carmen lies. No, that yeah. sounds right. Yeah. Car- yeah. yeah. Could be whatever you want to Carment- do. Carmen, yeah, I don't know. Compartmentalize. Compartmentalize. There you go. Tell, like that. Tell like to get that. you to shout out to compartmentalize. Yeah, whatever that word. Yeah, yeah. Whatever that word is. Compartmentalize. But it kind of makes yeah, you put it all in place. How you spell it? You know how you spell it? I don't it? know. C A R M E N L I Z. Let's tap that out. C A R M E N L I Z. Mario, you oh. got to see how you spell that. Oh, <laughs> Carmen Lyle, C-R. You know C-R in that joke. Get that all day long. Y'all help us out with the word, man. Yeah. Y'all know the word. someone Twitter. call in, man. <laughs> Facebook. You make get some out of a coupon or a, uh, what you guys call them? Yeah, we got to do something. A like, coupon or a gift certificate. It's funny. We, do, okay. we give a coupon or a gift certificate on that, Mario. But I will. think from, that. for me, that's, that, that, that be I want good. everybody to get Carmen therapy, Lyle. though. I really do, because I'm having a... Yes. Uh, um, with a Q. Q, yeah. Where the Q at? Uh, yeah, I don't know. You just put it wherever you It's silent. It's silent. The Z is silent. <laughs> yeah. October 28th, I'm what? having a mental health do do? summit. I want, See, I'm looking for sponsors. This is good. This is good. I'm looking for therapists. I love that. I'm looking for anybody. Uh, I really want Simone Biles to be a part of it. If we could awesome. get her to talk about her situation at, uh, I think, Michigan State. Yeah. I think that was just yeah. horrible for yeah. her to to be such a strong young lady and getting married and having a great life. Mm-hmm. And, of course, her husband, Jonathan Owens. So just go to LeroyButlerInc.com because, again, we want to make it free for all the kids. It's going to be at the New Beard Center. I think it used to be the Wisconsin uh, Center or something. Mm-hmm. Um, so you can get more information about that. And, again, we don't normally have to. This is a good place. If you were going to golf, you wouldn't have to go outside. 
But I know the Wisconsin sure. Golf Center is still closed, right? Yeah, yeah. But you can still go there. A friend of mine went there and I got some drinks after after a golf thing. Mm-hmm. So okay. you can still do that. Yeah. Right Wisconsin Indoor Golf Center, folks. Uh, go check them out today. Listen, we're closed right now, but we're open for special events. So yes. you can rent the hall out. Go check them out today. Wisconsin Indoor Golf Center. At your yes. summit that you're having? Yes. Can I, can I come? Absolutely. Can I get some help? Yes. Yes, cause what I'm it's two things I'm really trying to do is Can trying Mario? to get uh, kids from 13 I'm to 17. Says, I'm older than 17. Well, if we have grown folks already got mental health and therapy, but we don't have it for 13 to 17 that's true. exclusively, yeah. because that's the group that violent in the summers. Oh man, shooting, the June uh, tea celebration, breaking in. Entering the June uh, tea celebration, they were to set out a whole new deal. It's just it it's crazy. embarrassing. Yeah, it was crazy. But I'm trying to get them some uh, help, some mental health with yeah. a therapist yeah. on their phone. Mm-hmm. Like we had telehealth yeah. during the pandemic. Mm-hmm. You could talk to your doctor, but I want something specifically for them. I'm meeting with the FBI on Thursday because I want them to teach me if I develop this app for kids. How do child predators and molesters, how are they going to look at that and try to mm-hmm. hack and get into yeah. it? So I want to work with them to put up a firewall so these kids can use their phone, talk, talk to a therapist, mm-hmm. and say, listen, I need somebody to talk to. Some things you may not want to tell your right. mother and father that you could tell a therapist mm-hmm. that will be private, Agreed. that can help no more suicides, mm-hmm. no more helping um, hurting people. Mm-hmm. So I'm on a big quest to do that, and I wish everybody can come and help me. It'll be the first time Milwaukee's ever done something like this. So we're going to, and this is all nonpartisan. It ain't got nothing to do with politics. Good. But we're going to need them involved because they, yeah. they got a everybody platform. God, the governor, lift everybody. Uh, the mayor, Cavalier. Yeah. Uh, we need everybody to come together because that is mm-hmm. something we, if we all help each other, mm-hmm. especially those kids, and the reason why I started with 13 real quick, Gary, because the little babies, they're still growing, mm-hmm. and they may not even know what mental health is, uh, bullying is. But the 13 year olds don't either. 13 years old. They don't know either. Exactly. They don't they, even they, know. But they got it. But, but they need, need a release. Tell them. Why are you doing this? You don't yeah. know why you're doing it. This is why yes. you're doing this. Mm-hmm. Yes. Because I, I took a poll, 800 kids in four years, between 13 and 17. What's the one thing that bothers you more? Mm-hmm. You'd be shocked. I thought it would be finances. Mm-hmm. That's why Educated Credit Union was so big. I thought it would be clothing mm-hmm. or getting bullied. Mm-hmm. It was breakups. I'm like, what? Mm-hmm. Breakups. When they get go, if you which I didn't date when I was 13, 14. You but not, no. My mom would not no. allow that. No, no, no. no. What about your brother? No. He's probably snuck and done it, allegedly. Okay. But I, when you break up with somebody you're 15 years old, you want to go hurt yourself. Yeah, they don't know how to deal with the emotions. Yes. I mean, what do I do? Yeah. He's dating your friend now. Yeah. Now you want to hurt yourself yeah. or hurt him mm-hmm. or bust his windows out. Bus. I mean, I do, no, we're going to calm down. Mm-hmm. There's other guys out there that love to have you. Mm-hmm. When you maybe it's a, a way of saying maybe you shouldn't even date. Mm-hmm. Get yourself together, and let's get on point. So I'm gonna have resources for them at this summit that they can talk to a therapist on hand mm-hmm. and go from there. I'll give you more information about okay. it. But the last thing we'll get out here is something that happened in my family, Gary. What's that? One of my uh, close cousins. Yeah. What's up? Finna get Finna. 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 Finna get married. To a young lady he found on a dating website. Okay. So when all the aunties heard it, oh no, don't do that. Oh, they always something got something. Something sitting there like, why y'all care? You ain't in them yeah. always got She's 35. No. Well, how old is she? She's uh, 32. What's, what's, the, what's the problem? I mean, age different about the same. Don't be meeting no girl online. Don't be meeting how no guy online. How long they been online. together, though? Uh, I think... They met on the site last year. Okay. And they're getting married this fall. Okay. So okay. what's your view on online dating? Do you know somebody? Dating online a long, long time ago. Okay. Mm-hmm. People didn't like it. Right. But right now, 
This is new age, man. It's common now. Yeah, it's common. I know a lot of people that met online. Yeah, it's common. They've been pretty good on it. It's common. I mean, meeting yeah. somebody and getting right. married in a year might right. be a little quick. But, right. Oh, I've been uh, hearing a lot of it. But if you're Annie, if you're Annie, is she in her 60s, 50s? <laughs> How old is Annie? Yeah. 70, yeah. man. Yeah, she's yeah. Annie, 70, 70. 60, 58. They're, they're online. Auntie ain't know nothing about no internet. They, no, nah, they ain't doing yeah. that. They, they walk up like, to you in the bar. Like you want to go home? Yeah, they yeah. don't like that. Buy me two drinks. Yeah. No, they don't like that. But right now, right now, that's the way it is. Honey, that beer was fire. When Billy... Billy D. Williams. Billy, yeah. Billy D. Code 45. Code 45. Code 45. Yeah. He put the code 45. Uh, you know. But I, I do have a... Dis, I do have a... Uh, you got a disclaimer or something? Kind of, sort of. The way I, my view of it okay. is. You want to hear it? Yeah. Okay. Go ahead. If it's a paid site, the way people pay, they pay to have a um, profile. They're paying for it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. I don't think those people are creepy at all. Because I don't think people will pay to... Those are the ones... They're good money. They, they're good people. Yeah. They're probably mm-hmm. in their 50s right. or 30. And they want to meet somebody and go on some dates. Mm-hmm. Yeah. The free sites, they're a little bit more creepy. They're the one that'll show you a picture and you look like yeah. Brad Pitt, but when he rang your doorbell... Yeah. He, 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 what you happened like to Apple you? like Al Pacino. But he still like get right the job now. done. Now. Yeah, but yeah. I'm just saying. Don't don't. So, Al Pacino still can get it done. <laughs> you know, Robert De Niro don't, too, don't man. Yeah. man. Just because yeah. he all wrinkle yeah. up, don't mean that he can't get it. Well, we all no. wrinkle up somewhere, but I, I mean, I'm not gonna wrinkle up. Shame those guys. I want to look like them when I dare. He still be doing it. But my advice, I like that, still be doing it. Do if you want to do it, go to the paid sites or the apps. Because most people, you paying your money, they're not going to... Chances are you're going to get somebody creepy on both sides. Yeah, either way. Either yeah. way. But you can read a profile of what they're all about. And if it fits, yeah. great. Yeah. yeah. But if it's a free site, the one you just swiping mm-hmm. and just yeah. hooking up, they're supposed to look like the profile look like Brad Pitt yeah. and come in so, and look like he's about 400. Because yeah. mm-hmm. it's free. Yeah. And right. it may be somebody hacking you. Because you just want to be safe. But I'm I'm happy for him. Right. And it was my time to speak. Because mm-hmm. I was like his lawyer there. Right. The family. I don't know why he had to call the people together to tell yeah. everybody. He didn't mm-hmm. need business. Yeah. I right, said, right. first of all, y'all need to mind y'all business. They all booed me. Right. Yeah. Of course. But of course. look at his face and look at her face. Right. They're happy. They're happy. Yeah. That's what it's all about, Rush. Right? So you mean to tell me, had he not, had, had he, he not, not mm-hmm. met her on the site but and met her folks- outside... You would still well, say... But sometimes folks yeah. don't want you to be happy, though. Oh, man. Give me yeah. some doubt, yeah. man. Yeah, you don't hear it there. Yeah, they don't want, you to, don't want you to be they happy. They live miserable, so they got to... They want you to be happy. Yeah, I wake up happy. Surprising there's still people like that. And both of them went through a divorce. Always got something to say. They were at their lowest point. Bunch of two cents. They're jumping in their Facebook page. They're jealous because they're posting pictures. Just, I wouldn't just be. Swiping. I wouldn't be dating him. I wouldn't be dating oh, her. Cause you're scared and lonely. When you be. go home, you go home by yourself. Yeah. I'm going home with yeah. a twelve piece. Yeah, then the one to be. I wouldn't be happy. Yeah. That's why Pride Month is a big deal. Why y'all? Why y'all? Just let people be happy. So Look at this lady face, happy. man. Those she went through a divorce. Be, I went through a divorce be before. Be That's at your lowest point. Yeah. And if somebody can make me happy. We all done done some dirt in our days done now. Some dirt. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> statute of limitations they say ten years. Yeah, right that on. you can just clean reset. Yeah. Really, it's whatever you make it. Yeah. But just be happy. Yeah. Yeah. They're not asking you for no money. Right. They're not asking you for nothing. Yeah. And my uncle, who's a pastor, well, I'm not marrying them. Yeah. I well, said, they, what kind they, of pastor are you? Well, you ain't got to marry them. Yeah, you gotta, I mean, uh, yeah. what kind of I said, yeah. you know, they get you like fifteen hundred to marry. Or maybe I can squeeze them in now. Nah. But at least they getting married, right? right. Yeah, they get married. Yeah, so like, uh, yeah. yeah, yeah. Some people think everything you know, aligned up perfectly, and some people don't want to get married. No. So I got a cousin, him, my, on my uh, ex wife's side. Yeah, they're in their seventies. They've yeah. been together for 
40 years. 50 some years. They married. Happy. That's on them. And don't want to get married. That's on them. Mind your business. Yes. Right. They don't need to get married. Yeah, it's on <laughs> That's them. nobody's business, right? And they got like four kids. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So One of them is the, the nephew of the, the Philly. Yeah. You get they on married, mom and dad ain't never been married. They get along great. I mind my business. I just want people to be happy. That's it. Be happy. Because if he don't make Jennifer happy, she going to call me and I'm going to go off on him. And if my wife called Garrett, yeah. he going to go off on me. Yeah, what's going on, Roy? Because you got to tell P- hey man, make that young lady happy. Because everything works when everybody's happy. Yeah, it is. So sure. online dating, you don't have to judge nobody. Yeah, we good Just make that. sure there's somebody happy. Okay? There it is. Leap 36 Podcast. Tell everybody about us. Mm-hmm. Download it. Of course, we're going to talk about more things. At some point, we need two or three or four or five more sponsors or a bigger platform. We can reach more people, yeah. and maybe we'll go to two to three days a week. But I think for the most part, for Mario, who I think is the best producer. Thank you, All time. But people want to see your face, so we got to get a little box for you. Right so like a little box to sit there. Maybe without your, another sponsor, get your, we got we yeah, get your uh, like his high school picture. Yeah, and put it, keep it there when you well, talk school, with Flash. Mario went to. South Division. Yeah, South Division High School. Milwaukee. Yeah, yeah. Okay. 2.0 GPA career. You 2.0. Maybe 3.0. Did you graduate or did you just no, leave? I graduated. I graduated. Did you just, did leave? Did you just I leave? Because sometimes no, folks no, no, walk no. out. You just leave. No, yeah. I graduated. Yeah, they just my leave. senior class. Yeah, that's Shout my out. senior class. I ain't gotta be with y'all. I'm gone. That was a fun school though, and I love going yeah. to school. Yeah. We might tap into that. One. Yeah. <laughs> so tell everybody about us again. This Gary Ellison, former Packer, former Badger, and he wants to be a, a game show host. So if you got six figures, he'll fly out yeah. twice a week, yeah. record it, and come back. Come on back. But it got to be at least six figures. Six at least. Because he wants to buy the big bench. Mm-hmm. I don't know why. It's all the great kids. Yeah, yeah. The Red Ball, the Pro Football. Yeah. We got more stuff for you guys. We'll see y'all next week. Again, get Mario up on all the platforms. Download us on YouTube. Wherever you can. Down, we're everywhere. We need more subscribers. So help us out with that. Take care. And thank you for listening. And please do follow us on social media. That's at Leap36Podcast to stay up to date with the latest episodes that we have coming out weekly. Please be sure to like, subscribe, share, follow, all that good stuff at Leap36 Podcast. Special thank you to our sponsors, Educators Credit Union, Lake Ford and Lake Chevy, Union House, Jewelry Center, Leap Vodka, Wisconsin Indoor Golf Center, Milwaukee Window Guys. Leroy Butler and Gary Ellison. Leap 36 Podcasts. Available wherever you get your podcasts. I know you really wanna know who's coming through, leaving blood stains and residues. Sorry, homeboy, but your flow sound used. Got to pay your dues, baby. You know the rules. Whenever I travel the world, I land cruise. If you choose to fuck around, you get bruised. Now I got you.